guys, good evening. This is Teacher SP and welcome back to my channel. So today I will be sharing to you how are you going to derive a Pythagorean formula. Are you ready? So I'm ready and please keep watching until the end of this video. So I have here on the board a right triangle. So if I'm going to identify this part, this part is what we call the hypotenuse which is the longest part and this part is what we call the base and this one is what we call the altitude or another term for that is the height okay and then if i'm going to label this this is angle c so when you are going to label an angle see to it that it's a capital letter and then this part is what we call angle A, and then this part is what we call angle B. So this angle C, opposite of it, is side C. So guys, when you are labeling the part, which is the sides, see to it that is a smallest letter. So this is small letter C, and this A, it's A, small letter A, and this B is small letter B. So we are going to define what is a Pythagorean theorem. So we know that this part is the longest side and this is C. So the square of it, so the square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum. So when we say sum, that is addition. So this is the sum of the square of the two sides so the two sides are a and b so square of it so that is a squared plus b squared so therefore this is now our general formula for pythagorean formula okay so when we say pythagorean theorem guys Pythagorean theorem, the square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the square of the two sides. And this formula is what we call Pythagorean. So, how are we going to derive it? So, C is equal to the square root of A squared plus B squared. So, this is now our formula number one. And then we are going to derive using the general formula, we are going to get the side B. So since C is the longest side, so C squared transpose A squared to the other side, magiging negative. The sign will be negative. So that will be C squared minus A squared that is equal to B squared. So we are going to get the side B. So therefore, the square root of C squared minus A squared is equal to B. So this is now our ex uh, rule or formula number two. And for number three, we will be getting the value of side A. So using again a general formula, we can now derive so this is A, so transpose B squared, it will become negative. So C squared minus B squared is equal to A squared. So therefore, this is the square root of C squared minus B squared that is equal to A. So this is now our third formula. So when you're looking for side C class, this is a formula, the square root of A squared plus B squared. For letter B, side B, square root of C squared minus A squared. And for getting side A, square root of C squared minus B squared. So this is how are you going to derive the Pythagorean formula. So did you get it, guys? So next uh, class, next lesson, I will be discussing how are we going to use this formula in a problem solving. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day everyone.